Good afternoon, this is Paula Ward, aka Tutu Fit Mama, and I bet you're thinking I'm crazy posting pictures of urine. But today's topic of water is basically how to tell if you are dehydrated. There are some symptoms, but a lot of times those are late symptoms. If you wait for those, um, you're already severely dehydrated. Um, basically, um, thirst, which is a late symptom, dry mouth, tired, sleepy, um, think about when was the last time you went to the bathroom. Sometimes when you are very dehydrated, it might have been hours. Uh, I remember one time me and Jim had gone in a um, really hot day, had gone rollerblading, that he forgot to mention that there was no water available there. And I drank like 32 ounces of Gatorade and didn't, still didn't pee for a couple hours. So uh, think about that. When was the last time you had gone to the bathroom? You know, with, with kids, we're always checking the diapers and everything else. But with us, sometimes you forget when the last time we were going. And if you're going frequently, you know we are very well hydrated. Um, another symptom is bad breath. Um, when you are dehydrated, your mouth cannot make enough saliva and you can overgrow with the bacteria. So um, being hydrated will actually help all your friends and family. Um, good afternoon, Debbie. There is a non-scientific way. Um, obviously, as a nurse, um, we have lab work that we can look at to see if you're dehydrated or if you're not. Uh, the other thing you can do is pinch your hand like this. If it falls back, apparently I'm a little dehydrated. I worked out this morning and went and had a massage. So a it's not as um, hydrated as you would like it to be, um, so I will take care of that. The other thing is, which is why I pict posted pictures of the toilet, is basically the color of your urine. Now, it isn't always a true thing. There are different things. There are different. Thank you. There are different things that will um, change the color of your urine. There are medications. Uh, one medication for urinary tract infections will turn it orange. Um, as you know, if you've ever had tons of beets, that'll turn it red. No, you do not have a urinary tract infection. Um, it's beets, and it will clear. And asparagus will, and sometimes coffee, I find, will change the odor and the and the smell and the color of it. Um, but basically, it should be a very pale yellow. So when you look in the toilet, you should barely see anything. And the other thing is, vitamins will turn it yellow. Um, I have a vitamin that I've been taking that if I take for a couple hours afterwards, it is dark, dark, dark yellow. But again, it goes away. Um, also, do not look at your first morning's urine. Obviously, you've been fasting for anywhere between 10, 12 hours or more. Um, and that first urine will not truly show how, because you actually are technically dehydrated when you first wake up, uh, which is why most people recommend drinking 16, 24 ounces of water before you start doing anything. Um, so basically, uh, one thing I'd found, and it was on everydayhealth.com, which I thought was interesting, um, is that well hydrated urine is mostly just a tinge of yellow. Uh, when you get 3% dehydrated, it'll be notab noticeably yellow. 5% it looks like Chardonnay, and then severely dehydrated will be orange, uh, which is usually greater than 5% dehydrated, which when you think about it, isn't that much. So while you're at the bathroom today, think of me and um, <coughs> let me know. Sorry, the dog. Let me know how hydrated you are. So. <coughs> I will post up the chart in my blog, and I hope this is interesting to you, and I hope this helps you stay hydrated and live your best life. This is Paula Ward, a.k.a. 22 Fit Mama, signing out.